Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris. So, in today's video, guys, we're finally going to dissect my brand new Palmetto State Armory PSA AK-103. So, this may be a little bit different than a lot of the videos that you see on YouTube and other sorts of media. A lot of the PSA AKs that you see are either heavily modified after the fact of purchase or come bare bones simple. Neither or is the wrong way to go about this at all, but being that there aren't too many videos over this exact variation, or none at all for certain depending on what model you get, um, I think this is going to be a unique video that's going to be a little bit different because I bought the modernized AK out the gate. Um, it was either I spend less on the bare bones rifle, and upgrade it with other accessories such as furniture coming from both, you know, SLR Rifle Works uh, or even TDI handguards and other sorts of things of that nature. Or I just flat out spend over a thousand and get the gun I want out the gate to where it's very usable for me out of the box. So we went ahead and bought it. Um... I must say, I'm very impressed with the craftsmanship and the worksmanship on this rifle. Many of the parts, such as the dust cover, which most companies will not hand fit, um, is hand fitted. And I think in this particular case, we have a rifle here that has a lot more features than that of rifles within the same price range. So let's get down to the specifics. This rifle comes in after tax at about 1080 here in Texas with a sales tax of about 8.25 to 6.25, wherever the range is, depending on the company. Well, I ordered this from PS, PSA, and I must say, it came in to my FFL uh, in under a week. Ordered it on a Saturday, got it on a Wednesday. I was plenty happy with that, as is. Um, a lot of the times, uh, people have a hard time waiting and being patient, so oftentimes they'll buy things uh, that maybe aren't exactly what they want, but they get it right then and there, and that's their case, and that's what they want to do. So I was patient, and I waited. And I must say, the sure excitement of owning your first AK is unbelievable. Uh, I didn't think there would be any kind of emotions. It's a tool. It's a rifle. Uh, I'm going to use it as a tool, and that's what it's used as, you know? And it felt a lot more than that. You know, um, I felt happy. I felt impressed with what I was seeing. And overall, great experience. Now, to the rifle specifics itself. This is the AK-103 variant from Palmetto State Armory. This is going to be the GF3 side folding. So, we are going to have a side folding stock on top of that. We are going to have a Picatinny dust cover off the gate. And a JL billet M look handguard. So the barrel is made out of 4150 steel. Pretty good steel for a barrel. Not the FM barrel that comes in the GF5s, etc., but a good barrel. This variant comes with the 24 by one half right hand threads. So this is going to be your AK-100 series style threads. So be careful on the compatibility before you receive the rifle in buying a muzzle device because there are many different on the market. A traditional AKM has left hand threads while as this has right hand threads. So if you're going to get that Gucci Strela muzzle device, at least make sure that it is right for your rifle. So the barrel finish has a nitride finish on it. The front trunnion is a Hammer Forge 4340AQ. The bolt is also Hammer Forged, so the front trunnion and bolt, most important parts of the rifle, are forged. Round of applause for Palmetto on that behalf, because their older models before the GF3 were, let's so say, uh, cast parts! And we don't like cast parts. Nobody does. Not on an AK in that matter. With the PSA 103. It was either that or KR 103, which a buddy of mine, Roman, has now acquired. So we will be doing, you know, 
side-by-side -side comparisons on how our rifles act and behave, being that we shoot just as often as one another, so they should have around similar round counts in them. So, I will keep you updated on that. Finally, this also does come with the ALG AKT Enhanced Trigger. Um, you get standard sights on this. You get your standard sight, sight post up front, 90 degree gas block, which is known to AK-100 series AKs. Um, now, let's talk about the dust cover, because that's the most important part. As you can see in this video, I do not have an optic on my gun currently. Running irons, learning the platform, learning how to get good reloads in, getting my times quicker, etc. That's what's most important. But I have taken a few optics off of my other guns and tried them. The 1 to 6 held perfect zero, no issues, put 100 rounds through it, which in retrospect may not be enough for your liking, which is understandable. Some people like to use and abuse, but then again, those people have more money than me. So, yeah, ammo's expensive. Even 7.62 by 39. And the major thing was, the contingency with this rifle was, was the dust cover going to hold zero? Because I was intending on putting an optic on it, and it was a big gamble. Why would you run a side mount, such as an RS Regulate mount, or a Midwest Industries mount with a Picatinny section or optic cut footprint when you already have a Picatinny dust cover. That's the last thing I wanted was this dust cover not to hold zero. But as of receiving it out of the box, I could see there were some signs of the finish, which was probably an anodizing because it is aluminum. It is a hinge dust cover that were not chipped off, but looked like they had been worked away. But in my eyes, that's a good sign. That means that the dust cover was hand fitted for my receiver set to work with my receiver set. AKs are not like ARs. Building ARs is like building Legos. It is for children above the age of three. Anyone can do it. It's super easy. There are tools in place to where you can do it on a desk in your home without any major tooling at all. So being that this rifle came under right at under $1,100, in my opinion, this is one of the best rifles you can buy in this category on the market compared to the KR-103. Now, why is this rifle so cheap? You may be asking. Well, that is a bigger issue that we will talk about later, and it is not even a big issue, to me, at least. People don't like Palmetto State Armories because they're inexpensive, but has anyone ever thought why they're inexpensive? Well, if you don't work in the firearms industry, you may not know this, and that's completely understandable because there's a lot that goes on. There's a lot of talk between companies, uh, there's a lot of drama, and there's a lot of business deals gone wrong. But the one company that fails to be in any sort of contingency with that conversation is Palmetto State Armory. The reason people don't like them and companies hate them is because they only send things to FFL dealers. They sell it through their website. They are not using dealers to move merchandise. They're not sending 200 guns to a gun shop to Billy Bob down the street and him purchasing those to therefore resell at MSRP. No, they are sending the rifles to FFLs that have been ordered by the customer for the customer to pay that FFL fee. To me, that is the most seamless transaction you could possibly do. I see the rifle I like, I pick it up in store, I pay a small fee such as anywhere from 10 to $25 depending on your area's FFL fees, and I walk out of the store happy camper. All I had to do was fill out my 4473, and it was a good experience. Didn't have to mess with any gun clerks trying to sell me a product that I didn't really need. It was great. But what a lot of companies don't like about that is, is Palmetto State Armory is able to sell these rifles at a value a lot lower than that of dealers or selling through dealers. Because when a company wants to sell a rifle through a dealer, the dealer will put an order in, the dealer will accept those rifles and pay for those rifles once they are received, and then the dealer will make his profit through selling it through MSRP in the store compared to dealer price what they paid for. But Palmetto State Armory 
is moving more rifles because they are charging the customer's dealer price. If Palmetto State Armory were to start selling through dealers tomorrow, the price that you see on the website today would be what the dealers are paying. And the price would go up from anywhere from $100 to $400 depending on the model or the rarity of the model. Palmetto State Armory has a lot of rifles uh, with different kind of accessories on them, some coming with SLR rails on them, some coming with TDI rails, different furniture, buffer tube setups for M4 compatibility stocks, etc. So we must remember, in this day and age, in the gun industry, a lot of companies just want your money, which is perfectly acceptable. Those companies need to make profit. But Palmetto State Armory is giving you an option to buy a rifle at a great price point with great quality parts. Now you may be saying, hey Chris, I've heard such and such about Palmetto rifles. This rifle sucks. Well yeah, maybe that rifle does. Every single company on the planet that is in the manufacturing business has a contingency on how many rifles will, might, will, or might not work when they are in the customer's hands. That is why we have warranties, and that's why my rifle comes with a lifetime warranty. So if something major happens, as in front trunnion issues, bolt issues, weird bolt wear patterns, etc., I just send it off to Palmetto, they'll fix it for me, or replace it. Perfectly fine with that, I can feel confident. Now, I've only put maybe about 400 rounds to this rifle. Is that anything to tout about? No. There are plenty of guys on this platform who have plenty of money to go put a thousand rounds through a rifle in one weekend. I am not. I'm a broke 22 year old that works full time and works hard for my money. And I want the best possible product for that price point. To compare, this rifle sitting at about 1080 after tax is comparable to a rifle that is either $2,000 or $2,500, being with the features that it does come with. Now, you may be saying, well, those AKs have better barrels. Yes, they have FN chrome line barrels, or they have other barrels that are just plain out better. Perfectly fine. I'm not an accuracy ex expert. If it meets NATO requirements and it's accurate, which it has been from 100 yards, about 3 MOA, I'm cool with it. Because that 3 MOA at 100 yards, that's not bad. 3 MOA at 100 yards when shooting at 500 yards, such as 9 hole review standards, right? Their accuracy review on the AKs. That will mean from 500 yards, that gun will have a 15 inch group perfectly fine with me that's cool well I want to end this video by saying I'm happy with the product and I must say I'm very impressed Palmetto State Armory is going to get more of my money and I would even love to work with them in the future and yes I'm simping right now because they make such a good product and even if their product has a major issue or malfunction with it they are willing to fix it and listen to the both the customers and also the guys here on YouTube and social media posting content about their products, willing to work with those people to fix the issue. I knew Palmetto State Armory was a great company as soon as I saw Mike from Grand Mike from Grantham's video. Big thing. The rifle had major problems with the wear patterns on the bolt. PSA took the rifle, improved on it. Did a video explaining what had happened and what they did to fix it. There is no curtain covering the problems in Palmetto State Armory. They are upfront with their customer base and they are communicative. 90% of the gun companies in this industry don't do that. You're not going to do that. If there is a problem, probably a lot of them aren't talking about it. Because it's probably not a major issue to warrant a recall. Now, are they dicks for that? Maybe you choose but hey guys i'm happy with this rifle i'm getting used to the platform and uh i must say i am enjoying my ak a lot more than my 10 and a half inch so guys if you want updates on this rifle build out i mean obviously i'm going to be adding to this rifle but i only have the necessities as of right now the sling light and a usable pair of irons 
So if you want updates on this rifle and this build and the journey to build a kit around it, uh, please like and subscribe this video, guys. It would mean a lot to me. And you guys are awesome. Stay cool.